PM, um, looking back on Singapore's 50 years uh, and your own personal experiences watching the country grow from third world to first, overcoming the, the difficulties in the early years of independence, and also bearing in mind that we are standing at the start of SG50 of a, of a year with a lot of excitement and anticipation building. Um, what is your personal message to Singaporeans at this point in time? We've come a long way in 50 years. 50 years for a country is nearly two generations. Uh, if you look at other countries which have made a 50-year journey, uh, they've often had a lot more difficult time than we have. Uh, you look at China, 1949 to 1999, from liberation to great leap forward, failed, cultural revolution, total turmoil, to reform and opening up. 1999, they were in the process of reforming and opening up taking off to growth, but after enormous human uh, uh, pain and sacrifices. Uh, you look at Taiwan, also from 1949, and uh, by 1999, um, the old Kuomintang framework was already reaching its limits. Uh, the economy was already beginning to uh, no longer be an Asian tiger anymore. And they were looking for their way forward. How do you, what do you do next? China is growing and we are here. Do we become, link up closer to China? Where is our future? Uh, which way do we go? Quo uh, vadis. You look at Israel, 1948, they became independent. 1998, 50 years. They had fought several wars. They had won all of them, but they had not solved their fundamental problems. They never solved the fundamental problem. And they were in the middle of an intifada and asking themselves, well, what do we stand for? We have been spared uh, many of these upheavals. We've had uh, difficult times in the last 50 years. The first few years were very uncertain. When the British decided to leave, uh, there was a big impact on our economy. When the oil shocks came in the early 70s, uh, it was a tremendous impact on our, on our people because inflation went up one year, there was 20% inflation. When we went into a recession in the 80s uh, and we had to cut the CPF, I think that was another milestone which those who have lived through will never forget. And then along the way, you have terrorism, you have SARS, and we've come here. But I think on the whole, it's been stable, it's been upward, and we have arrived at a good place. I think we must use this as a jump-off point, not as a final destination. And the 50th year is a good time for us. It's like reaching the end of a 50-meter swimming pool. I touch, I take a breath, I swim on. And I think swimming on, we have to set broader targets, but one common element will be that in Singapore, we have a home, in Singapore, we have a future, and in Singapore, our children can grow up and do well. And we can work together to do that.